It had been nearly five minutes since 69-year-old Joanne Benjamin suffered a heart attack while scuba diving. Her husband, Walter, could only watch helplessly as Laurie McLaughlin performed CPR and other divers in the area joined in the effort to save his wife's life. Do. We need oxygen. Okay. Hang on. Good. Hurry. My brother Joe and I climbed in the boat immediately, and we started two-person CPR. My brother Joe started on the ventilations, and the woman that was there helping, she continued on with her compressions. I requested the oxygen, and I gave it to Joe, who was already up at the victim's head. The patient at the time looked very serious to me. I realized when there was no pulse, she was cyanotic, pupils were dilated, that she was either in cardiac or respiratory arrest. My experience turning somebody around from being that close to death has been very small. I've probably performed CPR on 20 to 30 people in the last eight years, and I can only remember four that have survived. No pulse? Yeah, we got no pulse. CPR. We need to get her to shore. As the three boats headed towards shore, Joanne had been without a pulse or heartbeat for nearly 10 minutes. I thought that I may have lost her. And I didn't think about it as much getting her in the boat as I did on that terrifying ride into shore. All I could think was that this poor man had lost his wife right there in front of us, right before our eyes. And that all we could do was just to take her to shore and that hopefully someone at the hospital could do something for her. I kept saying, if you got a pulse, was her heart beating? Is she breathing? And, and they were so busy, they couldn't tell me what was happening. I know I was scared. And I'm still scared. And I. St I still get choked up. I'm sorry. I still get all choked up when I remember what happened. Rescue units arrived at the marina and began preparing for Joanne's arrival. We set up our IV lines. We set up our life pack defibrillator and got the board and everything ready on the gurney. There was not a lot of communications between us and the boat, so we really didn't know what kind of condition she was going to be in when she arrived at the dock. It was a real gray situation. I had little hopes of, of her coming out of what she was deeply into. The oxygen was starting to get low. It would, wouldn't have been many more minutes and the oxygen would have been empty. It was actually just a few minutes from the dock. We saw that the color started coming back into her face and her lips, and we could see that the oxygen that we were pumping through CPR through her system was actually having a positive effect. As soon as they said, we have a pulse, oh, man, I'll tell you, that was something else. All of a sudden, it was just a wave came over me that just changed just absolute sadness and this wonderful feeling of joy. And happy for the, the man who did not lose his wife. Happy for those in the boat who were working on her, that they had just absolutely saved her life from what they had done, from the, the skills that they had had. It was wonderful. I realized that, that what had happened was a true success story and that CPR really is something that everybody needs to know because it can really work and it's, it comes in handy at times when you least expect it. Joanne was taken to a nearby hospital where she was treated for cardiac arrest and released after 10 days. For the past two years, a surgically implanted pacemaker has helped Joanne to lead a more normal life. I think I am so lucky to be alive today, and not a day goes by that I don't think about how lucky I am that all these people were around just at the right times.
Joanne and Walter have become close friends with her rescuers. Seeing Mrs. Benjamin now is a really good feeling, knowing that we helped her, and helped her family, that they can still enjoy her and, and her them. Uh, it could have been two other people in the same situation, and they may have never contacted us ever again. What really made it different was how they responded and it was such great thanks and friendship warmth to us afterwards. I'm grateful to Laurie, I'm grateful to the ranger, I'm grateful to the bottle of oxygen, I'm grateful to the ambulance, the ambulance drivers, the doctor in the hospital, the, uh, the, the Marcella bus. I'm just grateful for the whole kit and caboodle that I've still got my wife. Joanne and Walter Benjamin recently celebrated 47 years of marriage. My almost fatal accident that day has brought us much closer together. While it was a terrible thing to have had happen, the happiest part was that I got feeling good again and having a good time in life. I just have so much to be thankful for. She's my wife. I can't say how much I love her except that she's my wife. Next. Okay. Kids, oh, a little special. You're not just treating a patient, you're treating a future. And we need a chest x ray now, please.